Hi everyone, this is part two of CBC Kids Wednesday Storytime. Remember that we are reading from My First Hands-On Bible, published by Tyndale and Group Publishing. Uh, today's story is called The Last Supper. Um, it's, from, it's from Matthew chapter 26, verses 17 through 30. Now, you do you know what a supper is? Sometimes we call it dinner. And it's the meal that we eat in the evening when it's night. So that's what Jesus was going to do with his disciples. He was going to have his last supper. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. On the very first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal for you? As you go into the city, he told them you will see a certain man. Tell him, the teacher says, my time has come. Let's look at a picture, okay? So there's um, the disciples talking to the man, saying that Jesus would like to have the Last Supper at his house. Remember, Jesus said, my time has come and I will eat the Passover meal with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus told them and prepared the Passover meal there. As they were eating, Jesus took some bread and blessed it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this and eat it, for this is my body. And there's a picture of Jesus tearing apart the bread. And they call it breaking bread. And he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to them and said, Each of you drink from it, for this is my blood, which confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. Mark my words. I will not drink wine again until the day I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Then they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. That was from Matthew. Now I wanted to act, to go over a couple of things that were kind of, I think, new to everybody. He said that they were going to have the Passover meal. The Passover meal was something that the uh, Jewish people, the Israelite people, celebrated ever since the days of Moses when the people were in slavery in Egypt. God had said he was going to send somebody so they could be free. And the angel needed to know which ones of the houses that he would pass over so that there would be no punishment for those houses. And so what the people did was they killed a lamb, and they took its blood and they put it on the doorpost. They painted it on the doorpost and the angel of the Lord passed over those houses with the painted doorposts. And that night they celebrated by having a meal that was called the Passover meal. It wasn't a really yummy meal because they had to do it in a hurry, but that was something they remembered every single year to do the Passover meal. There was another word that we want to talk about, and that's covenant. A covenant is an agreement. Like if Mrs. Pablo promises that we would have ice cream when we saw each other again, and I was making a promise, a promise is like a covenant. God was making a promise to provide for all of his people, a way for them to be forgiven of their sins. And that covenant was about Jesus. And so Jesus was going to become the sacrifice. He was going to take the punishment for our sins. Remember what it said in the story? It is poured out as a sacrifice to forgive the sins of many. That's what Jesus has done for us. So this is part two. This is the second story in our series of three, right before Jesus gets crucified. Remember, Easter Sunday is coming. That's Resurrection Sunday when Jesus rises again. So stay tuned for the third part of the story, and it's about Jesus in the garden. Okay, see you then. Bye.